Coming up on UT10 News in HD, the university's medical center received a top ranking. We'll also give you tips on how to stay safe this winter. Plus, Ashley Karsten covers the Rockets as they attempt to put out the UIC Flames. Your news in 10 minutes starts now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Karina Cornelis. And I'm Mackenzie Keyline. The University of Toledo's Medical Center has received national recognition. Kristen Rosendale tells us about the hospital's new achievements. UTMC has been recognized as the best regional hospital by U.S. News and World Report. They beat out 15 hospitals in the Toledo metro area to earn the title. Other regionally ranked hospitals include Mercy St. Vincent, Toledo Hospital, and Mercy St. Anne. It gives us all a great sense of pride because the rankings are based on quality and reputation. Uh, regionally and nationally. UTMC also received recognition in seven specialty areas including ear, nose and throat, geriatrics and more. What the US uh, World uh, 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 News Award is telling us is that we are providing great clinical uh, outcomes and great care. In the future UTMC plans to continue to maintain the high level of care that earned them this title. For UT10 News, I'm Kristen Rosendale. UT's blue and gold recycling isn't making much green. I looked into Toledo's recycling program to see why they're not making money and the Bowling Green State University program is. BGSU student-run recycling program makes on average $35,000 a year. Students are charged $3 as part of their general fees to help fund the recycling program. BG uses their estimated $60,000 budget to pay student workers and the cost of recycling bins. Unlike BG, UT does not make any money from the recycling and is limited to a $4,000 budget. We should be able to advertise, we should be able to have um, uh, posters and banners and, and recycling con containers, you know, up to date, uh, really nice recycling containers in every building, but we can't. We don't have the money, so we do it what we can do. In 2009, UT partnered with Lot Industries to help save money. Lot keeps all revenue generated from UT's recycling. Lot Industries supplies the bins for us, so we're not um, paying out anything for those bins. And Lot Industries, it's a joint project between the two of us, so our costs are very, very low. At this time, there are no future plans to change UT's recycling program. For UT10 News, I'm Mackenzie Keyline. The National Safety Council reports that 300,000 people suffer from winter weather related injuries each year. And as the snow approaches, the UT Safety and Health Department is advising students to be careful. The campus can get very slippery and students should look out for black ice, take more time to get to class, and wear proper shoes for the winter. To avoid injuries on campus, commuters should be cautious when the snow hits. Winter presents a lot of hazards, everything from poor visibility to uh, uh, blown over roads to um, uh, drivers who are kind of timid or not, not accustomed to driving in poor weather. For more tips on winter safety, go to www.weathersafety.ohio.gov. Last week, the Toledo Zoo kicked off their 26th season of the Lights Before Christmas. The zoo was filled with over 1 million lights, including an 85-foot tree with 35,000 lights. Tickets are $11 for adults and $8 for children. The zoo is also offering a visit with Santa, ice carving demonstrations, and dancing lights. I like the musical thing that they do with uh, yeah. the lights, you know, in, in sync with the music. That's awesome, too. The Lights Before Christmas will continue until December 31st. Navigating the UT campus can sometimes be a bit confusing for any student. It can be even more difficult for blind and visually impaired students. Cam Norton joins us live in the newsroom to tell us about a local organization working to keep students on the right path. Cam? That's right, Mackenzie. The Sight Center of Northwest Ohio has been helping people since 1923. The Sight Center provides assistance with a mobility course to those with visual impairments on campus. This training provides a mock dorm room along with on-campus practice to prepare students for life in college. Show them the uniqueness of campus. Um, to help them get from class to class. One UT student and Sight Center client has gone through the training and is now a DJ on campus. So I needed to know where buildings are, where my landmarks would be at, and they were really receptive. 
The center helps more than 1,200 people every year. For more information on what services they offer, call 419-720-3937. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Cam Norton for UT10 News. UT and a local business are capturing the sun's rays in a more efficient way. Natronex is an alternative energy company working with the university on energy sustainability and conservation. The team has created a five-acre solar panel which provides 20% of the power for Toledo's water treatment plant. The solar field is located off of York Road next to Collins Park. This five and a half million dollar system takes in more light and produces more energy. Funding for this project came from several sources including Rocket Ventures, the City of Toledo, the state and federal government. With graduation just a few weeks away, an office on campus wants to help students prepare for the tough job market. Career Services is in the student union near Starbucks. The office helps students build resumes, develop interview skills, and teaches networking strategies. They encourage seniors to visit several months before graduation. We can coach students and we can encourage students and, and help them learn so, so that they can build their confidence and have some of those skills before they graduate. If you are looking for a job, Career Services also post employment opportunities on their website. I'm Ashley Karsten and this is your UT10 Sports. The UT basketball teams were in action this weekend. The men were looking to put out the University of Illinois Chicago Flames on Saturday. The Rockets didn't need any introduction as they came ready to dominate in their first home contest. Less than one minute into the game, Julius Brown wide open makes the easy layup, giving UT an early lead. Now watch Brown again as he finds Delano Deer for the jam, putting the Rockets up 45-25 at halftime. On to the second half, Brian Maherle hits Matt Smith for the one-handed dunk. The Flames tried to rally back as former Rocket Hayden Humes hits a three-pointer, but their flame would burn out with Ryan Maherle sinking a breakaway three. UT sends UIC packing with a final score of 82 to 67, extending their winning streak to four. Coach Todd Kowalczyk says the team needs to stay focused the whole game. We acted like a team that's the fifth youngest team in the country. You know, we got giddy instead of getting serious and getting down to business. Coming from a record of 4-28 and last season, the UT men's basketball team is looking to continue their positive start this season. The team has already won four non-conference games. Reese Holiday and Delano Deer are the only returning players on this year's 13-man team. Coach Todd Kowalczyk also has five freshmen joining the Rockets. And Ryan Pearson, Matt Smith, and Dominique Buckley are playing this year after being redshirted last year. I feel like we have a good team. I feel like if we just improve on our individual skills and we improve on our chemistry, then things will look up and start looking better for us. Currently, the Rockets are ranked 327th out of 344 Division I teams. On the women's side of the hardwood, UT played two games on the road this weekend. First up, the Rockets faced the Indiana Hoosiers on Friday. The ladies battled to the very end, shooting 39.6% from the field, taking the victory with a final score of 69-58. Despite the win, Nama Shafir left the game with a knee injury early on in the first half. Then on Sunday, the women faced Arkansas State in another close game. However, the Rockets struggled with the loss of their senior co-captain, Nama Shafir, and fell short to the Red Wolves 64-56. to um, Is there any updates about Nama's uh, injury status? Unfortunately, Nama did tear her ACL, and she will be out for the rest of the season. That will be a tough loss for the women's team. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ashley. That's it for UT10 News. For the latest breaking news from campus and bios from all UT10 reporters, go to our website, ut10news.com. And you can always watch our award-winning newscast on YouTube and Facebook, where you can get caught up on all of our campus news whenever you want. For Mackenzie Keyline, Ashley Karsten, and all of our crew, I'm Karina Cornelis. Have a great week and stay tuned for more news from the UT campus.